It was on that day we had the glorious battle between the knights who lost their castle to a great unspeakable evil. It was on that day the fate of mankind would be decided. Hello everyone, my name is Garrett Ocamber, and we have a bunch of knights fighting the glorious fight. We do like an intro here. We're like, oh, Lord of the Rings music, oh. <laughs> We have all these soldiers ready to fight and die to defend their castle that was taken from them. It was taken and they are here to reclaim it back. We have little flowers. I like that. I like that there's little flowers. It's cute. You know, the flowers are going to bear witness to the death and mayhem that is coming. Now, what did they lose their castle to? Every fucking animal in the universe. Oh, that's right. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy, and it's getting weird. Where the fuck is the chick? Oh, there's the chickens. Buck, 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 we can't find a way around. Buck, 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 buck. Oh, God. Oh, it's a slaughter. Oh, the poor animals. They just wanted somewhere warm to go. <laughs> so the cavalry are going to be the first to get in, and they're going to do a lot of damage. As we've seen, cavalry seems to be a really powerful unit. They're kind of like Spartan-class units in this game because, because their first initial charge does a shit ton of damage. So anything in the front, as those poor little chickens and, uh, sorry, the penguins found out, they got utterly decimated. I think the penguin section of the army is finished there um, already. But um, on top of that, they can keep fighting and fighting. Once they are not moving, though, they appear to be pretty easy to kill. But there's so many of them. So I have no doubt by the time these cavalry units finish up with the turtles, by the time these catapults get over there, it's over for the turtles. We got a ton of catapults. We've got a bunch of soldiers, heavy armored soldiers. We haven't lost a single one yet. Um, the turtles are trying a strategy here. <laughs> They're trying a strategy. It's like a giant butt that's forming in the center of the fight. It's like look at my turtle butt. Oh no! It almost looks like a pair of tits. It's just literally pulling back the cavalry just enough, just enough to let their chicken brother and sneak in and attack. But it looks like the catapults have started to fire, and they are they are hitting the turtle army hard. Um, the main holders of the castle, this one brave fool, he tried so hard. He wanted to breach. The main, uh, oh no, there's still penguins. There's still penguins. They're stuck in the uh, little moat. The moat. This is a nice moat. I like this. Um, if you're an archer, this is like one of the best spots you could be right here outside of the castle. Um, but the main holders of the castle are kangaroos. Most of these kangaroos are just ordinary kangaroos, but amongst their ranks are devastating rock hurlers. Kangaroos that like to throw shit at people. It's too bad you can't actually put anything in this castle. See, it's like a little door and everything, but... Oh, there's like a little interior! That's cool! I never even tried that before. It's a real shame it isn't, like, destructible or anything. That'd be really neat to see. This model was intended for other purposes. Um, this is a Unity asset game. It's not a flip game, though. This, this person has worked very hard, very hard, to give it life. Um, this is also a very great place for an archer to be. kind of reminds me of um, a place that... Uh, was in uh, Narnia. Um, they're firing on the armies and shit. So, all these people... Oh, it looks like they removed the lava. There was like a lava patch over there. It's gone now. It's kind of sad. thought they could have done something with that. Yeah, there was lava but, uh, underneath that rock, the boulder. But there's not any more. Um, it looks like the turtles are almost all but spent. I mean, their numbers, their ranks have thinned. The cavalry is still messing them up. We have some of the knights, the brave knights, wading through horse shit just to get closer. And the catapults are just firing on everything. There's no archers. What the hell are you? Why are you gold? I guess he's like the first guy I clicked on. Still gold for some reason. It's kind of cool. Um, 
But yeah, it looks like the, the turtle's defense is not going to live forever. The butt cheeks have spreaded, and the battle looks like it's... This battle is won. Um, the question is, will the knights be able to make it across the bridge alive with this many kangaroos and penguins in tow? Stand firm, my brothers. The age of men is at an end. The age of the kangaroo has begun. Soon we will win. For all that is fluffy and adorable, this world will belong to us. Oh, shit's gonna happen soon. The last remnants of the Turtle Regiment <laughs> are fighting so valiantly. They're trying everything. You can just see where all the chickens exploded on the ground there. Um, they're trying everything. They've split up into corners. They're fighting everyone. Turtles don't give a shit. Here it goes. The last charge of the cavalry. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh lord. Oh no. Oh, I don't think they're getting their castle back. Those kangaroos don't give any shits. <laughs> oh, some of the smart ones have... Uh... Oh, they're, try they're trying, but they can't. They're trying to get around. Uh, but... Yeah, those, those boulders, they have pretty good range. Oh, if they can get around, they may be able to do something. But I don't think they will. It, it, it just looks like everyone's fucking panicking right now. They don't know what to do. The cavalry's going in. The knights are going in. They're getting crushed. And you have all these people trying to do something smart. They're trying to get around the kangaroo defenses. But they can't. The catapults on the human side have started firing, but... They're not as frequent. There's no way. There's no way. This is The age of men is over. Come on. Come on, guys. You can do it. I don't want to join the kangaroo army. You have to win this. History is going to be rewrote because of this. Come on. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> Just look at this. They're fighting so valiantly. But in the end... Failure. It's it's kind of beautiful, actually. It's the slow progression of adorable creatures throwing rocks the size of, you know, mega bowling balls. Look how happy they are when they jump. The catapults are doing damage, though. They've cleared out the first line of kangaroos, but. There's still so many. Yeah, the catapults versus the kangaroos. This is where it's at. Um, the kangaroos do not have the health to survive a catapult hit. But nothing else can get close to the kangaroos without getting killed. And I think the catapults might have a better range, so maybe the catapults are the saviors. Some of the smarter soldiers have gotten themselves wedged in the ranks of the catapults. It's probably the best way to go if you're going to go. Um, gives you a little bit extra time to think about your predicament, your lot in life. Pet your horse and eat a Snickers bar. But, uh, yeah, this is... It looks... it Unless the catapults have definitive range on the kangaroos, which it kind of looks like they do, the kangaroos are not going to attack the catapults. They're only going to attack anything that gets close to their range. So by sending the kangaroos to defend, I've actually sentenced them to death. Looks like uh, a good deal of penguins are still alive. A bunch of normal kangaroos as well. well it's time to uh, bring the defenders out, shall we? Ready, my kangaroo brothers. Ready. Come on. Let's go. I believe in us. We can do this. Get, get it out of my way, Jeffrey. 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 I like how the kangaroos make Spartan sounds when you uh, go to command them. They're like, whoa! Whoa! Oh, is this cliff gonna kill me? Yep. 
<laughs> I think I just sentenced a bunch of kangaroos to their death. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go. We can do this. Come on, you guys. This is John Travolta. Come on. Come on. There's no way over there from here. I should have known better. I'm on Kangaroo Army. Let's go. We can win this. Believe in us. I believe in us. The age of man is at an end. Come on. Okay, so I've brought a good-sized regiment over here, but I think most of them have got... Yeah. Most of them have got stuck, so this is not going to end the way I wanted it to. So we're going to move this kangaroo as close as we can get without being shot. And that's probably not going to happen. Yeah, a good deal. The regiment is still is already dead. Uh, they were caught in the open. And it looks like uh, mankind will have their victory, it seems. Oh, no. Poor kangaroos. I really thought they could do it. They had such high hopes, you know. Look at that face. Look how happy he is. Just enjoying life. He just wants to succeed. You know, to hold a castle? To rule for a millennia? They are going to kill me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Come on, kangaroos. Fuck kangaroos and all the creatures in the world and the wilderness. Oh, fuck me. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Ah, uh, no. He's dead. They all died. They didn't even get close. <laughs> oh, God, no. It's the rest of the regiment. No, they're getting bullied. Oh, no. I think it's over. I think it's over for them. Yeah. These poor little guys, they just lost the will to fight. Look at them. Look how sad they are. So scared. They just know. Each one of them lining up, left and right, to get knighted. And then God farted. Wow, really? Two cavalry left? Are you kidding me? Boom. <laughs> Is anyone really victorious after this? I don't know where the last two uh, guys are. There was somewhere over there. Okay, well, shit. Okay, I have souped up the animal army. They will be victorious this time. They've got really powerful chickens and really powerful... Oh, God, I think it's already over. Oh, God, they have really powerful penguins, too, I was gonna say. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Holy shit. The chickens have fired their weapons. <laughs> Here comes the cavalry. Oh god. They're terrified. They're like, what the hell is this? I thought this castle was ours. We had it. No, you didn't. Oh, I don't know if the chickens can do it though. I mean they've got they've got the firepower, but their aim sucks. Oh, they're losing some Okay. We got the turtles. The turtles are very happy to do what they're gonna do. Um, the kangaroos have mobilized. They're doing this really interesting uh, strafing tactic. And, uh, yeah, some of them are being stupid and they're stuck. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some of these kangaroos. I think this is a throwing kangaroo. We're gonna get some of them to follow us straight through. We're gonna crush this human rebellion once and for all. Come on, kangaroos, let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Believe in us. We have the power. The, ch the last of the chickens. Oh, God. I thought they could do the job. I really did, but apparently not. Um, their aim is something to be desired. But if we flank, if we flank... We can do this. We can do this. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. We can do what we can do. Attack him. I will be the uh, catapult 
Rue. Ah! <laughs> oh, I love this. <laughs> this is crazy, I love it. Really, are you the only catapult, Rue? That's kind of sad. We need more. Oh god. I don't know how this is gonna this is gonna work out. I mean, they've already crushed the the chickens, and um, the turtles are doing what the turtles do best: being annoying and cute. Really annoying. Oh, that's right. We also have boss chickens. Yeah, I think the boss chickens are gonna win it for us. They uh, they're basically like normal chickens, but they have a metric shit ton of health. <laughs> I think we got this, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. We can do this. I believe in us. Come on. <laughs> We're knee deep in it. We can do it. We can do it. I'm just firing up into the air. Hopes I hit somebody. Ah. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. oh god, the second you send them to attack someone, they go straight. Bam! <laughs> oh god, we're wrecking the catapults, come on, we can do it. We can do it. Come on. Get him! Attack! <laughs> you can do it! I believe in us. <laughs> I think it's over. I think it's over for uh, mankind here. I think the army of adorable creatures has won. See, when they work together, they can do anything. You still got reinforcements coming in. Oh my god, look at this. It's like National Geographic, but with death. <laughs> look at them. You yeah, were ready to go. We're ready to go. Come on, let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> They're just pouring out of the keep. The, the path thing is something to be desired. These guys who died, they died because... Yeah, they died because they're falling off. It's kind of sad that it's happening. But I think, I think the army of animals has won. There's only 45 um, powerful super chickens. I mean, these guys are incredibly strong. Look, look at the health. I think one of these could have done the job. Oh, God. I made them to counter uh, Chuck Norris. But I, don't, I haven't actually tested that theory yet. Oh, goodness. Look at this fight. Look what's happening. Oh, you're not so strong now, are you? No, no, no. Everything's going to shit, isn't it? No. Oh. <laughs> How do you fight something with that much health? Oh, man. So much death. So many ruse have given their lives for this cause. So many. I want them to add like uh, capybaras, and they just run in, and they fart, and they just do a shockwave that destroys like a shit ton of people. I think that would be hilarious. Okay. I think this is our same guy from before. Let's go. Let's go, my brothers. Come on. We can do this. Attack. Come on. Ah. We can win this. <laughs> Maybe making his attack speed's a little bit overpowered, but I think it's kind of funny. I only gave him 200 health, so they can die pretty easily. Uh-oh. Oh, game kind of froze for a second there. That wasn't good. I think we got this. Come on. 
Get him. Oh god, the army of ruse. Oh, it's crazy. Look at us go. I think we've won. Oh, yeah, I, I think these are the last forces. They're being surrounded. It's over. They're gonna get cuddled to death. Oh, god. <laughs> no, please, it can't end like this. It is. I can see my little guy there. He's so happy. Look at him. He's led us to victory. You've led us to victory, nameless hero. Yes, you have. Oh, wait, there's still somebody alive. Who could possibly have survived this onslaught? Did somebody retreat? Because I don't think that's in the AI at the moment. Where the hell are they going? There is one guy. One. Still alive. It's not... What? The fuck? It's just a horse's ass. It's just a horse's ass. Oh, they're coming to kill the ass. Oh, no. Oh, horse ass. Run. Go. Go deeper in the earth. I don't think they know how to get to him. I'm not going to let you win because of bullshit. No, you're going to have to suffer. Look at this kangaroo. He's like, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to kick you. I'm going to kick your horse's ass. Yeah, there we go. The horse's ass is dead. Congratulations. So, that was Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator again. And, yeah, I, I like the new changes that they've made to the game. I like that you have the ability to customize some more units. Um, there's even furniture units in the game. Uh, you know, Santa Claus, obviously, we played around with that before. There's a lot of cool stuff coming to the game. And I would love, again, my personal wish list, I want to see more Undead. I want to see probably the ability to recolor something, like a character. At least a basic color change. I don't know, maybe uh, change the armor color. Maybe get, like, blood red or blue or greens. Maybe have some sort of um, system where you can add in magic, you know, as another projectile or effect. Like, maybe there's, like, a slow-moving lich. And when things get close to him, he just blasts everything around him with a shockwave or something. And maybe if he kills units, he creates zombies. Uh, maybe add in something like a dragon. Like a literal fucking dragon. And it breathes fire or ice or whatever. Add in futuristic units. I would love to see that kind of stuff. Lasers, lightsabers, whatever you can think of. Special tanks, things like that. Flying units would be cool too. Um, it'd have to make it so that when they go to attack, they're vulnerable to attack, however. Because otherwise, if you make a bunch of mosquito units and they can only be attacked when they... Well, let's say they couldn't be attacked if they were attacking you. You'd have to have ranged characters like archers and, and gunmen to take them out. So you'd have to have a system in place that flying units have an advantage against most types of attacks. They can't just be attacked while moving they have to actually go to land to attack. Um, it'd be interesting to see. I'd love to see that. I don't know if that would ever be a thing or not. But I'd love to see a map creation system. An ability to build your own maps. I don't know if that's ever going to happen, considering that this game uses a bunch of Unity um, assets that you buy, you know, this person bought all these things. For instance, I did a uh, search on the zombie. I found this exact zombie online for like, what was it, $25 or something like that? And he's completely dismemberable, which is really cool. You don't see that in this game. And I would like, I would like him to actually, uh, the mod maker to actually make it so you could decapitate this zombie. Um, even if he doesn't, it does have the capability of doing that. The good thing about these assets, and this guy too was in like a pack with like a werewolf and a bunch of other things. The thing about these assets that's really good is they're pre-built. So once you get them, you just put them in the game. I would like to see modders, at least if you can't build a map, be able to port their own assets into the game. And then, you know, share them via workshop. That'd be really cool. Um... As for a map building system, that would require a blank map or some sort of terrain generation tool. 
and being able to port in the assets for a actual um, an actual sort of it, like a sandbox thing we just put in a bunch of buildings and rocks and trees even if it's limited it would be nice to see I just don't know if we're going to get to see that considering the entire game is based on um, external assets it would just be very hard to create something brand new and then tack it into a game like this if they can do it if that's like one of the final release things I'll gladly wait I think it'd be cool to be able to build your own maps as I said in the previous episode being able to make something from a movie or series or just coming up with something on your own imagination like me personally I like elevation maps so being able to have something like floating islands or something and like some sort of drawbridge that goes up and many characters get pushed off the edge a retreat system would be cool like morale add characters with morale like all human based characters have some form of morale system and they can only take so much before they freak out and that's when the command option comes in place where you can take control of somebody and say get your shit together and fight um that'd be kind of interesting to see and maybe they fight better if the morale goes up too if you start crushing there's so many things they can do with this game and it's fascinating to see where it's going to go from here but for now I will see you all later. If you like this, let me know in the comments below, and I hope you have a very nice night. Goodbye.